Is it good now? Yeah. Okay. Hey guys, my name is Tanya and I am the owner of Boho Chic Design from Paris, Ontario. Is anybody on yet? Can you see numbers? <laughs> no one is on yet. Sarah's watching. Yeah, Sarah's watching. I'll wait till some more people jump on before I go heading into it. But I am the owner of Boho Chic Design and I make hand painted custom signs. I don't use stencils, so you'll probably watch me uh, struggle with a stencil today. Um, I do everything by hand, no stencils. Um, so today I'm going to be making a circular door hanger, which can be customized for seasons or events or whatever you see fit. I'm going to be using Country Chic Paints, uh, the colors Vanilla Frosting and Pea Coat and a clear coat to seal it for outside weather. Do I read you the comments? Yes. So we got a couple of people saying hello. I missed a few of them. <laughs> Sorry. You gotta catch up. Marianne Rothfuss saying woohoo, looking forward to learning. Heather Brown saying hi. Miss Missy Rivas Le left saying can't wait. So this is also my very first live ever. I've never done a live before. Um, a little bit about Boho Chic Design. I'm super new to the whole business thing. I just started a year ago doing my signs. It all started with a sign I made for my mom and it kind of took off from there. Missy's never gotten used as paint. She's excited. Excited to use country sheet paints. I'm new to it too, but I've gone a little overboard. <laughs> Um, how I found Country Chic Paint was I was looking for new paints for my signs that I do. She says you're doing awesome. Who? Um, I'm Missy. Oh, Missy. Thank you, Missy. And Heather Brown says hi. Hello. <laughs> you're going to do a great job. And um, so Facebook does this thing where it knows what you've been searching and Country Chic Paint popped up on my Facebook feed after I had been searching for new paints used for my signs. And that's how I got started with Country Sheet Paints and became a retailer in Paris, Ontario, if you missed that. Um, so I'm going to get started now that people have jumped on. Um, Kelly Bogues. Hello. hello. Uh, you start with a circular round. You can get these at Lowe's or Home Depot, but I'm not close to any one of those. So I made my own with some cheap one by 12 pine and I cut it into a circle with a jigsaw because I have to get real crafty. So you start with the plain wood circular round. Then and a couple to, likes and hearts. I'm going to start with vanilla frosting because it's going to be my base um, before I go in with the navy. Oh, and this has been used a lot, so I'm struggling with the lid. So, I'm going in with the vanilla frosting. It's going to be my first, oh, I said clean round. It's going to be my first coat with the vanilla frosting. And then I'm going to go. I think it's Leah Eid. I don't know how to pronounce the last name. Sorry, it gives you a heart. Make sure you guys comment and say hey, because then you get to win a goodie bag. So I stirred my paint, and I'm going to take my brush, and I'm just going to put white all over this wood round. Is it a thick paint? Missy's asking. No, but the coverage is amazing. Like, I can show you. Don't forget to comment to win. Yep. This is just me lightly putting on paint. It's not thick at all. Goes on so nice. Have the brown says paint paint is thick? No, paint is thick. No. <laughs> it's not watery either. Mm -hmm. I don't it's hard to explain. Missy says awesome. Pat Hunt. Hello from Newfoundland. Hello. <laughs> you spell it like you say it. Hello. <laughs> Missy Rivas says, oh wow. So I'm painting the whole round white including the sides 
And if you have doors like mine, with a big window on the back, you might want to paint the back of your round, otherwise you're just going to be looking at a wood round from the inside. I don't really like that, so I paint the other side of my round. So like I said, I found I found some on Amazon, and I found some at Home Depot. <clears throat> Lee I says I pronounced her name right. <laughs> and I found a few rounds on um, at Lowe's as well. But to save me driving, I just went to the home hardware on the corner and bought some cheap pine. Heather Brown wants to try a blue. A blue? I'm going to be using Peacoat. Karen Fraser says, awesome idea. I would use cranberry sauce. Yeah, totally customizable for season. You can do seasonal ones, like for Christmas. Or if you're having a bridal shower. So I'm going all the way around. Because I'm going to, after this dries, I'm going to go with a beeswax distressing bar around the areas that I want to distress when I put on pea coat. Which is super nice navy blue. Missy says she'd love to try any color. Any color. <coughs> I really dig the blue tones lately. As you can tell from the blue room the nights. Randy and Nicholas to your group sent, sent the message. Vanessa sent the oh, message to Jeff. That's uh, oh, that's something else. Sorry. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> that's Heather Brown. Did you try to tribe? Did you did you try tribe when it was out? No, I didn't get to try any of the uh, the cure um, paints. I don't know the words aren't coming to me. The <laughs> The Cure Paints. I never got to jo try any of them. Joni Wittigy. I love con I love con Oh, I'm missing it now. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no I'm sorry. We're not keeping up. Victoria okay. says, I would love to try the Elegance. I painted that dresser in Elegance. Do and I finished it with antique wax. Do you want me to flash the, the, the no, dresser? No, no. Okay. okay. So I painted the whole round, including the outside rim. And if you do have glass doors, paint. Paint the back. It also kind of works as like a primer when you go in with the blue. You'll know if you're getting a good coverage or not. So I prepped beforehand and I got all these rounds ready. So this one's dry. Joyce says hi from Newfoundland. Love to try this paint. Oh, that's from Newfoundland. So this, what I just did here, this is the exact same thing, just painted. And uh, my children are trying to jump in on this. So now that it's dry, I'm going to take the beeswax distressing bar, and all it is is just natural beeswax. I have everybody coming to join us. Um, and I'm going to rub it. Miss is asking one coat. One coat. I just used one coat of the vanilla frosting, let it dry, and now I'm going in with the beeswax distressing bar in the areas that I want to distress after when I put the coat on. It smells good. It smells exactly like beeswax. I'm going all around the outside here, and then when I go in with pea coat. What one coat you said, right? One coat of the vanilla yeah. frosting. Yep, yeah, that's all I needed. The coverage is awesome, so you really only need the one coat. All around the outside with the distressing bar. This is going to help me when I do the pea coat and do my light distressing. It's going to bring that white through a lot easier, so I don't have to struggle so much with it. Although it does distress fairly easy. So I've gone all around the outside. This is where I'm going to distress it, but you have creative control on your own project. So if you want to do something on that, you can feel free. And Country Chic Paint says, don't forget to comment to win. Yes, make sure you comment to win. Is anybody from close to Paris? Probably not. I feel lonely out here. <laughs> so I've gone all around the outside with the distressing bar. Now I'm going to go in. Country Chic Paint says, I love your giant tag in the background. <laughs> Missy Rivas says, I can't wait to try this. It looks like something I can handle. It's pretty easy. Some flakes. 
So now I'm going to go in with pea coat. Once I've done the beeswax distressing bar, you go in with the, the bar once your paint is dry or it makes a mess. Oh, this is from Maryland. Heather's from Fredericton, New Brunswick. Oh, that's out east, eh? Yeah. So now I'm going in with pea coat and it's a really rich navy, kind of like my walls in the background. Probably why I like it so much giving my paint a good stir. I prepped beforehand, so I don't need to stir that well. And just like with the vanilla frosting. Lisa says I try one in red. Bet Betty nice. says Paris, Ontario. And so oh, oh, they're going too quick. Prickly, sorry. <laughs> Crystal White is, is from Newfoundland. Heather says, do you always have to stir the paint? Yes. Always stir the paint. That's a good idea. You don't know how long it's been sitting. I'd always stir paint. Um, so just like I did with the vanilla frosting, I'm going to go over the whole thing with the pea coat. And I can show you just how well pea coat goes on. Like the coverage is it's better than any other paint that I've used before. So I'm going over the whole thing. Heather says, yes, East Coast, Mary Times. Over this. Kelly, great job from Drayton Valley, Alberta. Nice. Alberta. Kelly Bateman. Alberta, isn't that where the dog is from? No, Gigi's from Manitoba. Manitoba. Yeah. Missy says, looks so smooth. It is. It's, it's crazy. Just one coat. And I can't see the white coming through. And it's going to dry to that chalky finish. And I got kids, so I don't like to use paint that has smells. Because having that smell of paint in your house just kind of drives me nuts. There's virtually no smell to this paint. And I'm going around the outside, covering all the white that I did. All around the outside. I believe the wood rounds that you buy in the store are finished on the outside. Mine's not finished well on the outside. But that's okay. Covering up all the white. <laughs> Missy says she's got six kids, so she understands. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's no <clears throat> smell. VOC free, so <clears throat> you're doing baby items and they stick it in their mouths. It's perfectly fine. My daylight is fading fast. I might have to turn lights on. Betty Lucas Smalls is great coverage. It is. Heather Brown gives you the smiley face with the hard eyes. All around the outside. Let me get some more hearts. Okay. You're going to let this dry. And I find that the dry times are really awesome with it too. Like this one that I just, that I was painting is almost dry. So I'm going to let this one dry and I'm going to move on to my other one that I have finished here. This is done one coat of the pea coat. And now I'm going to distress. Missy says you are natural at this Facebook live. <laughs> More like natural at my DIY <laughs> See, I'm in my element. All right, so this was just painted with the one coat of the vanilla frosting, and then I did the beeswax, and then I went in with the pea coat, and it's dry, completely full. Using light grit sandpaper, I'm gonna go over where I went with the beeswax distressing bar. I looked it up. Because I want that Sorry, one. Marianne Lothfer just sent, oh, I missed it. Sorry, Pam Waldron, it's time to replace my door wreath. This looks like just the ticket. And you can get different size wood rounds, or if you're crafty, feel like making your own wood round. Heather says you got pea coat on your I do? Oh no. And I'm wearing white. Where? I don't know, I can't see it. Maybe it's one of <laughs> oh, your <no>. tattoos. <laughs> Maybe it's one of your tattoos. Maybe. So I'm going all around where I put the beeswax distressing bar so I can get the white to come through. Pat Hunt says, 
I would love to do one. Oh, sorry, just kept going. <laughs> Pam Walter says hi from near uh, Daytona Beach, Florida. Wow. Wow. All over the place. That's cool. So you can see that the white comes through as I'm distressing it. It'll look better once I wipe it with a damp cloth. Missy says I think it was a shadow. Oh, maybe. <laughs> I'm losing my sunlight. Do you want me to turn the light on? Um, it might go yellow in here. Yeah. yeah. Just go around. I'm using a light grit sandpaper. That's all you need. And you can see that the white is popping through. That's where I put the bar. I want that to shine through. I got a lot of blue tones in my house, so that's why I went with Peacoat. Linda Benny says, would love to win. Goodies up for grabs. Make sure you like and say hey. Okay, so now that I've sanded, I kind of have some dusties oh. all over, and I think this looks good with the white. JT Management, hi, great paint, great paint. Thanks, Gabby Jones. Hi, I would love to try Jitterbug. It looks like a beautiful slate, slate blue. They got cool names. Missy said, I would love to win too. Heather, Heather we all want to win. <laughs> with, a, with a cool emoji, I can't see the emoji. <laughs> okay, so it's left a little bit of <clears throat> dust from the sanding. So you're gonna wipe down your piece because you always wanna have a clean work surface. With a damp cloth. The cloth is no longer damp. There we go. So I'm gonna clean off where I sanded. And if it looks like you need a little bit more, just go at it some more with some sandpaper. It's up to you. A little or or even if you want to distress it, you could just do a solid coat of paint too. Okay, so I've got it all clean because I want to apply a stencil. Diana Saunders says popping in from Mary Merrickville, Ontario. Oh. So, like I said in the beginning, I do not use stencils to do my science, so I don't have a clue how to apply stencils gracefully. I struggled really hard <laughs> applying this. So I had these made by somebody local because, like I said, I don't I don't use them. You got a few hearts. So this one says "Home Sweet Home." I thought that was cute to put on the sign and I had it measured to put on my rounds. You got some more hearts and thumbs up. It came with transfer paper, which I'm probably, which I'm sure is part of my issue here with this whole situation. Okay, so I guess you peel the back part off, which you guys can just watch as I struggle. I tried to prep beforehand so that I asked. You know, more like Stannis on this. Is, I would use cranberry sauce. Oh, lots of cranberry yeah, sauce. Yeah, there's a few people liking cranberry sauce. I really like blue. I like blue. the names that they have for, yeah. for them all. <laughs> and I'm. Little Bird told me that there is some new colors to be launched. Soon. You got some more hearts, some more flowing hearts. I think. Patricia says hi. Hello. Okay, so I'm making sure that all these pieces, if you're fantastic with stencils, this is probably going to be a whole lot easier for you. I didn't think that I'd have time to show you guys how I hand paint my signs. Otherwise, I totally have at it. More hearts. Yes. Okay, so you're going to make sure that all these little tiny pieces stay stuck to your transfer paper. Nobody warned me that it wasn't easy. Oh, that's the E. Okay, so I'm, um, I'm halfway home. I almost have it off. Success. Heather's asking, okay. have you tried the dog cat colors? I haven't. I haven't gotten to try any of the 
the limited edition colors. I got my first, I'm very new to Country Chic. I've only been with Country Chic, I think, three months, maybe? Super new. So I'm lining my stencil up. Kelly Bogus says, I I like, oh, I like, no. Oh, what is it? She likes the, pe the way the peacock looks. Me too. Missy says, woohoo. So I'm applying my stencil on if you she prefer likes. to hand paint it that you can have at it i would probably hand paint mine if i was going to do it again because <laughs> it's a whole lot easier than applying stencils so i got it all patricia says great on. color make sure it's all down and then you pull your transfer paper off making sure that it stays stuck Heather says, oh, a newbie just like me. A newbie, yeah, I'm a newbie. Pam Waldron, once the paint dries, can you can you distress it a bit more with a damp cloth before it, it cures? Or is it permanent as soon as it dries? Um, When it's dry, you're going to want to use sandpaper to distress it. Uh, just a light grit sandpaper. While it's wet, you can do a technique called whitewashing Pearl. or dry brushing, which gives you kind of that distressed look. Pearl, Pearl Fodchuk is saying cranberry sauce is my choice. Kind of farm color. Yeah. <laughs> the blues are what drew me into country sheet paint. That and they're Canadian. So I have to support Canadian. Mm -hmm. All right. Diana yeah. says peak coat is one of my favorite colors. I love peak coat. Miss says make sure you have pressed it down really, really yep. <laughs> well and pull off at an angle. <laughs> I know. I, I did this on my prep ones and it's not as easy as they make it look. Like the paint just keeps coming off. I knew this was going to be a struggle. This is why I prepped. Well, you're a hand painter anyway. You do yeah, everything you hand. Stuff. You hand paint stuff. So and now it's this coming. This is new. It's coming great. So you can learn together with your with your uh, fellow fellow watchers. Yeah. Well, I've been doing signs for a but year. She says, "Oh well, just helping." Yeah, I know. There it goes. It it goes when it wants to go. Heather says stencils look like a pain. <laughs> they make it look easy, and then, but nothing is quite easy with me. But I'm almost there. Home run stretch here. I'm on the T, and then we'll get painting. You can do it. There we go. Success. I did it. Okay. Make sure that all these little Missy says most videos make everything look so easy, so yeah. at least you're, at least you're <laughs> at showing least real life. Real about, it. Yeah. Real about the yeah. struggles of transfer paper <clears throat> and stencil applications. And I prepped beforehand, I, I practiced that's me with practice, so I'm trying, I'm just adjusting the. It kind of came off. Yes, so you want to make sure that it's all pressed down so you don't get any bleed through. So I had that happen on the one that I did on my tester. You want to press it all down smooth. Oh, I can't, I can't catch who the, who the comment is, but oh, oh, Linda says I would use the Go Fetch gray with the Pico and oh, ice, icicle Ooh, uh, are the colors I would too. use to do my own. I use stencils. Uh, because you can't hand paint, but it gets easier as you, as you, as you <laughs> use it more often, yeah. Practice uh, makes perfect. Oh, oh, I just, Tanya, come here, fix this. Come oh, here, no. fix this quick. What did you do? I just set, changed the camera. Oh, hold on. Hold on, on guys. Press. Oh, no. How right do you, here. That this one? camera switch? Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. and I'm back. All right, <laughs> all right. Sorry, guys. Technical difficulties. Okay, Pat Hunt says, I'm going to do this. All right. <clears throat> I wanted this video to, to be real. That's why I, I was like, I'm going to show them how much I struggle with stencils so they know 
Missy says hello. Uh, hello. Okay, so I'm pressing up all the air bubbles, making sure it's all nice and flat because I'm going to go in again with vanilla frosting to do my. And, and this is hide your camera guy. Or hello to, to my camera guy. <laughs> <laughs> That's my husband. Hello. My husband Jeff. All right. So I think I'm good. I pressed out all the bubbles. So I'm going in now with a foam roller and I'm going to be using vanilla frosting to do my lettering. Like I said, you have full creative control of your own pieces. Missy says hi. Hi, husband. Hi, husband. <laughs> oh, I'm trying to roll down this without pressing. Oh, no, I can't do it. Sorry. Guys. This is just what Mary I'm Marianne Rothford says. Mind. Live is wonderful. Thank you. So this has already been stirred, but if you're using a new color to do your wording, then I would stir the paint. It's, you just don't know how long it's been sitting. So I'm using a foam roller. I found that that was the easiest to go to do my stenciling here. Pat's asking if you, if you own your own shop. I do. In Paris, Ontario. I'm a home-based shop though, because I'm still pretty new and I'm still small. Even my sign business is still new. I just started a year ago. I had my one year anniversary on Mother's Day. So foam roller and I'm going in again with vanilla frosting. I like vanilla frosting. It's like a creamy white. Roller doesn't want to roll. Missy says nice. she can draw stick people. That's about it. <laughs> draw stick people. Okay, so now I'm going to paint over top of my stencil. Missy says, Congrats. Thank you. Marianne is asking, Do you work out of your home? I do. Yep. So at the front of my home, in the room that I'm standing in, is where I have all my signs. It's my office slash workspace and I also have my country chic paints here. Not quite big enough to move into an actual retail store yet, but maybe in the future we'll see what happens. So I'm going over so I can see some of the spots. I can still kind of see the blue poking through, and I don't want that. And when I was doing my test pieces, when I pulled off the stencil when it was wet, I made a mess. So um, I let it dry before peeling Heather's off the saying stencil. She's, sorry, Heather's saying she's glad she did not miss this. Was <laughs> was worried since I was out of my birthday dinner. Oh, happy you're birthday. Doing a, she says you're doing a fabulous job. Thank you. I'm glad that you guys tuned in. I was super nervous. Okay, so I think I did a good job with that. I'm going to close up my paint. Aren't you chic paint just saying happy birthday to Heather? Yeah, happy birthday. Okay, so I'm going to let this dry, just like I've been moving on with all my pieces here. Yeah, the vanilla frosting from the beginning is dry, so I don't even think I've been on here that long. So I have this one that I prepped beforehand. This is just with the one coat. I've gone through all the steps the same. I've just taken off the stencil for this one. Missy says you're doing such a great job. Thank you. For this one, now what are we going to do? We are going to weatherproof it? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I'm going to go in with some clear coat. And it says not to shake it. No, I'm shaking it. So that's not <laughs> the smartest idea. Country Chic Paint also has a tough coat. Maybe if you live somewhere that the weather is not like it is in Ontario. Karen says that looks so pretty. Heather yeah, says seal it. Yes, I'm going to seal it right now. Yeah. I'm sealing it with clear coat. So I'm going to stir it, not shake it. Kind of see me want to shake it it's natural so i'm stirring up my clear coat missy's got the smiley face with the tears is she laughing yeah i think she's laughing <laughs> or tears of joy or something like that yeah. i don't know what that one is yeah laughing i'm stirring <laughs> my clear coat i'm gonna seal mine because it's gonna be outside 
can get some more hearts. You know what I forgot? I forgot ribbon. That's it. I also couldn't find my glue sticks, so I have to use super glue. But it's all the same. So I'm going in with a top coat or a clear coat because I want to seal it. Otherwise, your paint is just going to go and become even more. Oh, Heather's asking, does shaking it give bubbles? Yes. And it says because she was shaking it. Yes, shaking it gives the bubbles. That's why I caught myself before I got too excited with the with the shaking. It's just habit. Amy March says, hello, finally got signal to join in. Nice. So I stirred my clear coat. It's quite milky looking, but it dries clear. The only thing with your clear coat is that it does take away that chalky finish. It'll it'll get a sheen to it once it dries. And I used... You just got a whole bunch of legs. Thank you. And I used two coats on my finished piece of clear with clear coat. And hearts and likes and hearts. Awesome. I'm going over the whole piece, making sure I cover everything. Want my pretty sign to get destroyed by all this rain that we're having in Ontario. Marianne says, Ops Mermaid Tail, crazy autocrat. What? Oops. <laughs> so, you also want to make sure that you're sealing the sides as well. Going around all the edges because it is wood. You want to seal it. It's painted wood. So Kelly says, I do like those two colors together. Awesome. No, I thought they looked great. I've seen them on Pinterest and I was looking, which is where I get most of my ideas from. Missy says they have tons of rain too. Yep. I think we're almost, we're heading into June now. So I think we're over the April showers. all over the edges the clear coat takes a little longer <clears throat> to dry Missy's asking will it be shiny or matte it goes on it when it dries it'll have a sheen to it the top the tough coat is even more shiny than the clear coat uh, so it Heather, does take away that matte finish Heather's asking do you seal the back even though you, uh, you, you did not paint it I didn't paint my tester ones <laughs> because of the way that they were drying, but I would seal the whole piece. If it's gonna be outside, I'd seal it. Missy says, nice. <clears throat> Making sure I got everything. All right, I'm good. All right. Yeah. And before you put your top coat on, if you're noticing that you want to do more distressing, you can do that as well. You can do it. You can do it even if you have the, the clear coat on. It's probably not as easy. So I'm going to let this one dry. I'm running out of room. Alright, so I'm going to let that one dry. And I'm going to show you. This one's finished. This one's got the clear coat. And you can see, maybe, maybe not. Can you see? It's kind of shiny. That's yeah, super shiny. Yeah. But kind of shiny. So this one is done. This one's got clear coat on it. Two coats, a clear coat. You can do tough coat. I wouldn't do a wax. I definitely do either clear coat or tough coat, depending on your weather, where you live, or if your sign is going to be outside or not. That's the deciding factor as well. Heather says it's gorgeous. Thank you. Amy says, oh, nice. Pat says, wow, beautiful. All right. So then we're going to go in and we're going to apply our embellishments, which I forgot. So I got to step out just for a second. <laughs> Mary is <she's> looking great. <laughs> okay. So you're going to need something to hang it with. I found some ribbon at my local dollar store. Likes and hearts. All right. And more hurts. So, okay. So you can decide on the length that you want it. I think I might have cut this one too big. So, and this—if this was going on my door, I paint the back, just in 
case you're wondering. You can kind of measure it out. Can't see what I'm doing. Nope, I'm crooked. Are right. the Browns giving you hearts? And Joy says, I want to paint my kitchen cabinets a white or off white. Oh, nice. Vanilla frosting is a nice off white. He's asking, or, or they're asking, would, the, sorry, would this paint work? Yeah, you just mm -hmm. want to, there's actually tutorials on Country Chic Paint on the YouTube channel. There's a tutorial on how to paint kitchen cabinets using Country Chic Paint. I believe they seal the cabinets using top coat. And that seems to work with the cabinets because your cabinets get a lot of wear. So if you're going to want something that's going to hold up to that wear to Deb cleaning. Says, Deb says she would use elegance. Elegance? Yeah, with black. I like elegance. The one I did in the picture, I think that's there, that was done in tropical cocktail. I was feeling very springish, but... I don't know. Now that it's summer, I'm feeling these blue tones. Mary's asking if they can stand the snow in the winter. No. <laughs> oh, yeah. If I can stand the snow in the winter. No, I cannot. Um, <laughs> the paint, if you apply a top coat to it, it will. Pat Hunt said he used it, or they used this uh, paint uh, the paint on their kitchen cabinets and nice. it came out great. Yeah. So I'm that answers that one question for sure. I'm ideas, which is dangerous. All right. So... I would normally use a glue gun, but I have misplaced my glue sticks because that's what happens when I start getting nervous about life. So I'm just going to use a dog super glue just for the video. Actually, you know it would be better. Some construction adhesive. But, and I also had in the, in my instructions, I had eye hook. Because I threaded the ribbon through two eye hooks that I measured on the back just so I was sure that the ribbon wouldn't just come off with some glue. Is it this stuff here? No, not those ones. They were all on the table and now they're not here. Boo. Okay, but anyways, on the back I, about a quarter inch down right in the center, I did two eye hooks and then I threaded the ribbon through and I applied... I applied glue so then I was sure that all of a sudden the glue just wouldn't go and off goes your door hanger. Heather says, isn't real life a uh, real life fun? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've misplaced things and struggled with stencils. And we had fun. All right, so I'm going to apply now my fancy ribbon. It's not very fancy. I got it at the dollar store. But I figured I was trying to keep costs down for this project too. So with the wood rounds, I paid $1.99 a linear foot for the for the one by 12 pine. Missy says you're doing a great job. And Heather says, isn't well, like fun? Fun. Paid $1.99 a linear foot for the pine. And then I drew a circle using a compass. And then I cut it with a jigsaw. Because I'm handy. And then I gave her a sand. And for $1.99, I got some wood rounds. So that saved me some money there. Yeah, compared at compared at compared at the $15.99 yeah, at Lowe's yeah. for make sure you throw that in there. That's 18 good. 18 inch round, I believe. <clears throat> Now I just lose my fingers. Yep, lives are fun. Super glued my fingers. Wonderful. So I'm struggling. So mm -hmm. I'm gonna need new ribbon because I really did just glue my oh, fingers. Oh, rip it off quick. Yeah. Rip it off quick before it actually sticks. That's how you guys know that I'm actually live and not a professional. Okay. So I'm gonna get myself a new ribbon because I failed miserably hard. You're doing a great job. <laughs> At doing that. Okay, so this time I'm going to flip it over and glue it. I'm not trying. I'm struggling. I'm doing it backwards. Oh, that's how you kill time. Okay, I think I'm good now. Guys, I'm gluing myself. 
Heather yeah. says, better profit margin when you're making yourself. Sonia says, yep. I love this. Miss says, you're doing a great job. Pam says, I'm always misplacing things in my workplace. <laughs> you're doing fine. <laughs> Smiley face. Doesn't want Likes. <clears throat> This is why I wanted to use the hot glue because it's probably what is stuck on. You're getting hearts and everything. It's gonna drive me nuts. You know what? You could always just put a nail through the back too. Amy says you're doing great. You could just nail on the ribbon and then you would be good to go. So super glue probably wasn't the best choice, but it's working now. But I'm being more patient with it. All right. You're getting some hearts. Some more hearts and everything. Nice. Okay. So. <laughs> Missy says, hey, if you glue it to yourself, you will have it for next time. Yes. There you go. <laughs> now I have to do a video on how to get super glue off of my fingers. So that should be fun. It doesn't come off the soap and water like Country Chic Paint does. All right. So I'm just going to. Sorry, it says, oh my gosh, I feel your pain. Yeah. <laughs> I actually. I glued my, my fingers on live video. It happened. It went down. So, yeah, for whatever reason, Mary, I want to glue on. Mary says you could use a staple gun to hold the ribbon. Yes, a staple gun, mm -hmm. which I don't have on me at the moment. I'm tempted to use some construction adhesive just so I can flip it over because it doesn't want to stick. No. It's not fun if things don't go awry. Nope. Bummer. They're gonna it's gonna need a second to dry and stuff. It won't it won't dry the right away. It is dry though. It's dry. Mary Ann says you're doing what awesome. me hanging. Literally silly thing. Okay, I'm just gonna keep moving forward. Alright, make sure you secure your ribbon on. That's the important part. And I've also made Missy says uh, oh, oh Miss says you're doing a great job. But the glue is much more, uh, something with the glue is entertaining, yeah. Yes. <laughs> be like the red green and just use duct tape. I had to, I had to say, duct just tape. be like the red I green. I have some tape. Oh, I remember that show. <laughs> <laughs> I have some tape. My cousin kept saying, say it's an art attack. Oh, look, it stayed on. Okay. Krista just... White says we've all been there. Yeah. We're just going to tape it for the time being. Just, just Sonia, so Sonia says use mineral spirits to get off the glue. Oh, okay. That's good to know because it's really all over me. All right. That's not going to hold. Lots, okay. of, lots <laughs> of hearts and likes. All right. It's not fun if I don't make mistakes. Okay, so I made a cute little bow. And as I made the bow, I was like, you know what? I don't really like the bow. Maybe I'd use some fake flowers or something on it. But for the video purpose. I'm going to glue this little bow on here that I just made out of some ribbon that I found at the dollar store. Maybe the super, maybe the super glue will work for that. Pam says super glue comes off with acetone nail polish remover oh. or a nice long soak in the bath. Yeah, I'll have to soak my fingers after that. That wasn't fun. Oh, look at that. Look at that. It happened? held it held the bow. Of course. <laughs> held the bow. It did not want to hang the ribbon on the back. So that's a bit of an eyesore. But here we are. Finished. Missy says that's what's great about homemade. Make it your own. Yep. So if I was more prepared and had time to run around my house looking for my glue gun and my glue sticks, then I'd glue it on with hot glue and then I would secure it with the eye hooks at the back, just so I was sure when I'm hanging it on my door, it's not going to fall right off. And I didn't even center it. Did I? Yeah, I did. All right, nice. Okay, it looks so. looks beautiful. Yeah, I touched something. <coughs> so this is two coats of the clear coat that I put on here, just so I'm sure that when I'm hanging this out front, that uh, the weather's not gonna completely destroy it. The sun's not going to fade it. Missy says, love, love, love. I thought it was cute. Lots of hearts coming, lots of Thank hearts. You. Thank you for the love. So it was that simple. I think I finished with plenty of time too. Uh, so it was the wood round and then- Lucy one... says you did an amazing job. Sorry for cutting you off. Okay. Susan says, 
What about uh, stapling the ribbon uh, on the back? That would work Definitely. too? Definitely. Staple yeah. it whatever way you feel would secure it. This is me working with my materials missing. So. Lots of love and hearts. I thought I was prepared. Not that prepared. So. This is just my clean wood round that I started with. I did 12 inches, but I believe you can buy them in any assortment of measurements. One Lisa coat, says, great job. And Amy says, so pretty. Thank you. One coat of the vanilla frosting. Marianne says, beautiful, beautiful. Then I went in with the vanilla frosting with one coat. I allowed it to dry. Went in with the beeswax distressing bar to the areas that I was going to distress after. Then I applied the pea coat, always allowing my paint to dry in between my stages. And yep, you can see it's dry at the back. So this one's dry. So then I went in with the pea coat, one coat, and then I allowed it to dry. And then I went distressing, light grit sandpaper. See there? I gave it a wipe with a damp cloth. Then I went in with my stencil, which you guys can tune back to watch me struggle with that. I um, painted the stencil with vanilla frosting with a foam brush and allowed that to dry before applying top coat. So I believe, I'm gonna double check because I only waited an hour. I, yes, okay, good. Good thing I double checked. So I only waited an hour before applying the top coat to my dried piece. Not until it was like that I could see it was dry. I made sure it was dry, dry before applying top coat. Applied two coats of the top coat just to be sure. Can, and you, then, can you hold it up again and just tilt it a little bit towards there so you can get a bit of a shine on it? A little bit more that way. That's why? Yeah, and then back yeah. like that, just like that. You see, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then. Missy says, uh, I love yeah. the way you go back over the steps. Yeah. So two coats of the top coat. And I allowed it to dry fully before embellishing it. Pam and says that's so cute. And I think now I would have maybe more my style. I would have probably added some fake flowers or something just to make, I don't know, that's just me. But you have full creative control over your piece. So the wood rounds that you don't feel like cutting your own with a jigsaw. Are you, there's a, there's a, the winner for the contest. Oh, there's a winner. Okay. So Who is the winner? Here? It's Deb Eddie. Deb Eddie, you have won a country sheet goodie pack. That's so exciting. What did she win? Uh, I think you have to contact. Uh, uh, yes, you yeah. have to contact country sheet paints. Yeah, uh, yes. Sarah at country sheet paints. Right? Sarah Archer at country sheet paints. You're going to contact her for your winnings. Not me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Congrats. She says, uh, yeah. Am I, am I supposed to read this out to Debbie? Uh, no. Okay. I don't know so how that works. She might, she might scroll up to read. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to finish off now then. So that was how I made my little circular round. If you can't come out to see me at my little parents' home base shop, I do have a promotion code that you can use online. It's Boho Chic 10, and you can use that at checkout for 10% off as well if you'd like to try Country Chic Paints for yourself. Or if you want to come see Paris, Ontario, you can come say hi. Missy says congrats. Heather says congrats, Debbie. Awesome. Yes, congratulations. I'm excited that you get to use some Country Chic Paints to make your own project or paint a piece that you have around the house. So... Yeah, it's driving me nuts. <laughs> so I'm going to sign off now. Is Sarah okay with that? Sarah good? So, yeah, is that cool, Sarah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so okay, so now. I'm signing off. Goodbye from Paris, Ontario and Boho Chic Design. What do I do? You're finished. Finished. Bye, everyone.